Question number one of this exercise says that two cubes each of volume 64 centimeter cube are joined end to end. We have to find the surface area of the resulting cuboid. So what we can gauge from the question is that the two cubes are identical because they have got the same volume 64 centimeter cube. In order to proceed further into the question, first we will have to find out what is the side length of the cube. So as given in the question, the volume of each cube is 64 centimeter cube. And we know that the formula to find the volume of a cube is A cube, A being the side length of the cube. Now this equals 64 centimeter cube. Now we can write this as A equals cube root of 64 centimeter cube. Now we can further write it as cube root of 64 centimeter cube can be written as 4 centimeter the whole cube because we know that 4's cube is 64. 4 4's are 16, 16 4's are 64. From this we get that the side length of the cube is 4 centimeter. Now the next part of the question says that we have to find the surface area of the resulting cuboid. Now to get the resulting cuboid we will have to join the two cubes end to end and this is how it will look. So in this figure what we can see is that there is a cube whose side length is A and there is another cube whose side length is A and they are joined end to end. Now from this we can see that the length of the resulting cuboid is A, the breadth of the resulting cuboid is also A, but the height of the resulting cuboid is 2 times A. So we can write it as height equals 2A. Now to find the surface area of a cuboid, we know that the formula is 2 times LB plus BH plus HL where L is the length, B is the breadth and H is the height of the resulting cuboid. So let's substitute those values. We can write that as 4 times 4 plus 4 times 8 plus 8 times 4 centimeter square. Now let's further calculate it. 4 times 4 is 16. 4 times 8 is 32. 8 times 4 is 32 centimeter square. Now that gives us 2 times 80 centimeter square. So we finally get the total surface area of the resulting cuboid as 160 centimeter square. And this is how we solve this question. To learn more about how QMath can help you crack school and board exams, explore QMath Leap, a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers.